All right, so, um, my name is Zach, and uh, I live in Virginia. In Virginia, there are tons of cicadas. If you can hear them, if you can, they live pretty much everywhere. Um, see, there's one right there. Is he alive? He's not, sadly. Poor little guy. Anyways, oh, I dropped him. Oh, look, there's another one <laughs> right next to him. And he is, um, well, he's dead too. And, um, yeah, my grass is kind of long too. That, that, that might affect it. Anyways, it, long story short, um, when they first started coming out, that there was this one cicada, and, um, I, I didn't name him yet. I, I think I should name him. And he was really, he was, he was pretty special to me. I found him right here on my second step right there. And, uh, and he was just laying there. He was all clawed onto the side. And, you know, he was like laying all back, trying to um, use gravity to, you know, get out of his little shell thing. And, you know, he was, he was just doing his best job. And, you know, I walked up and I almost stepped on him the first time I saw him. I didn't. He was alive. And then I noticed that um, the second time I came outside, because it was trash night, so you know, I had to do my chores, I was, I was being obedient, I came back out and he wasn't there. His shell was there, but he wasn't there. So, you know, I, I walked here, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I did. So, I'm wearing socks by the way. So, he was right here. He was on this step right there, okay? There's a bunch of ropes and stuff. Okay, so he was there, I come out here like this, and I see his shell, but he's not there. So, you know, I'm looking around, it's really dark, I'm trying not to, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to kill something that's, you know, awesome as cicadas. Anyways, so I, I step down like this, and right after I step, I see this little thing right there on the third step. And I was like, what is this thing? I thought it was a slug at first, but then I realized that it was my cicada friend. He was all like, ah, trying to walk around. I'm above the ground after I've been a, I don't know what he was, but he was underground for 17 years, obviously. Anyways, so I came down here, and he came down, he came on the steps right there, to right here. He was trying to climb up here, but every time he tried, he would fall back onto his back, and he couldn't get up, because he was a loser. <laughs> no, because he didn't have any wings yet. Um, you know, because the wings are rolled up when... On cicadas, their wings are rolled up, because they're membrane, it's all that science stuff. Anyways, so he couldn't move, so I helped him. I put a leaf under him, because I, you know, I had finished my chores. So I put a leaf under him, and when I and on my way back, I heard this like crunch kind of thing. Okay, and what he he had hit the leaf, but the leaf didn't help him at all. It just knocked him even farther down. So then he fell from there to there to there. So he's there, you know, he's like freaking out. And so I help him one last time, and then when I come out the next morning, I come out. And the first thing I see is a cicada right about here okay he's like black now he's not white you know when I'm, when I'm talking about he wasn't white he was he was black he had red eyes and he actually looked kind of creepy and like he was gonna kill something anyway so he's there and he's just you know really happy and I was I was I really wanted to congratulate him so I got my sister and you know I didn't I almost clapped for him uh, but I didn't because my sister was like you're weird freak <laughs> anyways so you know, that's my story. And um, he, he was a really good cicada. He was my best friend. And I wish I got to know him. And I didn't name him either. I mean, I, I should have asked for his name, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to name him right now. So his name is... Lance. Let's call him Lance. His name was Lance. And he was amazing. He was my closest friend. And, I mean, I, I only knew him for a little while, okay? I saw, I saw him grow up so fast, though. You know, I watched him being born, and, and then I watched his first steps, and now he's gone, and I don't know where he went. I mean, they're all over the place, and I don't know what, maybe that was Lance that I picked up. I mean, it could have been, but I just don't know. 
I'm sorry. I'm a little emotional. And earlier today, I, I, I drank hot sauce, and that, that made me tear up a little bit, too. Anyways, I mean, I, I'm not a cicada eater. I'm, I'm not used to eating cicadas. I've never done it in my life before. But, I mean, this is my story. This is my story of, of Lance. And he's amazing. And I, I couldn't ask for anybody else.